Hello, in this video we are going to look at using textures and colors with our geometry. More specifically, we're going to use it with our cube, but you can use it with any of the geometry within FreeJS. Pretty simple stuff. We've already got some images that we've just created using logos from our various divisions in Sonar and our products. You can use whatever image you want and obviously the dimensions will match the actual object or the geometry or more specifically the face of the geometry that you're applying it to but again pretty simple stuff this tutorial is relevant for cube cuboid sphere all that other good stuff and as usual if you go to the freejs.org website look at the example look at the documentation they got great stuff there to help you even if this series doesn't cover a particular little function so first of all what we have is a mesh basic material we are going to be using mesh, uh, not mesh, mesh basic materials but we're going to be using one for each face at the moment we're just using a global mesh basic material for our geometry but as a cube has as you can see one two three four five and six Faces, obviously this is in wireframe mode, we'll disable wireframe mode when we're actually viewing our textures. So what we want to do, is after we created the geometry, we can just leave that as it is. I might actually increase the size later on so we can see the textures a little better. I'm going to create a new variable called var cube materials equals, this is going to be an array of mesh basic materials because like I said we're going to have six different mesh basic materials for each face so you can easily customize them so you want to do new free dot mesh mesh basic material and now in here you want to do curly braces and then in here Instead of doing color and then wireframe, you want to do map new free dot texture loader dot load and now you simply specify the path of the image you want to load for me the image for slash one dot png and then outside of the brackets do side colon three dot double side you'll see what this does in a moment i'll i'll actually demonstrate it once we've implemented it okay we can remove this semicolon because we're within an array just put a comma there and then copy and paste that five more times. Well, I'll sort out the indentation after. So let's fix this indentation. Finally fix this one. And all we gotta do is change this to two, to three, to four, to five, to six. So we are all done. This is what I love about brackets. It gives you a preview of all the images, which is fantastic. We have dimensions as well so it's a great way of just taking a look at files without having to go into the finder or to the explorer depending on what operating system you're using and wasting time i'm just going to put some comments so you know what side you refer to right side left side top side bottom side front side I think you can guess what the last one is the back side so now that we've got this cube materials created we want to leave this material because we're going to be using this but we need to replace it instead of using a new mesh basic material which we've already used in our array we need to do new free dot mesh face material and specify the array so that's cube materials and now in here we just specify the material and it's as simple as that so if we save this 
go back to our web browser, refresh, and as you can see, we have our little cube. What I'm actually going to do, obviously, we don't need. Uh, actually, oh yeah, we haven't got wireframe anymore anyway because we removed it from. We removed the old mesh basic material, which is fantastic. What I'm actually going to do is increase the size of this so to two, two. So this will increase it by quite a bit. Yeah, so this this is a lot better now. So we can easily see each of the sides. So if you want to use a color, you can easily mix and match. So instead of doing map, you could do you could do color colon zero x. Let's put ff ff ff, which is white. Save that, and that was there, right? like so so we now have a white side as well so it's that easy to mix and match colors and textures so like i was saying before we have this double side so let me show you what, what it does outside we can see our textures and if i go inside if we're inside the object we can also see the textures. obviously the reversed and if i were to let's just say change this to front side I'll change another one to front side as well front side and I'll change another one to back side back side so now we have two front side textures or actually one's a color two front side I mean two back so two back side textures and two double side textures as we've seen, the double side can be viewed on the outside and when the camera is on the inside of the, the model. So if we were to refresh, we can't view certain textures because we are not inside it. So if we were to go inside it, certain objects we can see and certain objects we can't. So it's pretty simple stuff. I'm going to re reverse it because it doesn't look very nice at all. Change this back to double side, double side, double side. So there we go. We have our beautiful little cube running with textures and colors. It's really that simple. Like I said, if you want to use it with other geometry, just check out the freejs.org website and they've got loads of examples and documentation. If you have any questions, feel free to message us and we will respond as usual and thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.